Let me explain some formation of covalent compounds. This question will may come in your exam. Formation of H2. You know that hydrogen has one element, one electron. So two hydrogen like this. This hydrogen electron is here, this hydrogen electron is here. That means hydrogen forms single bond with another hydrogen. That means they form H2, Cl2. How they form? You know that chlorine has valence electron how much? 287. That means 7 valence electrons. Chlorine has 7 valence electron. That means it need another electron to reach its nearest inert structure okay therefore two, two chlorine combine with each other like this it has 7 that means 2 to 4 6 this is 7 this chlorine has 2 2 2 6 and 7 so now just look here 2 2 2 6 7 this chlorine has 7 valence electron this chlorine has 2 2 2 6 7 okay but Finally, what will happen? 2, 2, 2, this 2 is considered for this, that means 8 valence electron now. It has also 2, 2, 2, 2 means 8 valence electron. That means chlorine get its nearest inner structure, that is argon. It is okay. So, it will form like this Cl, single bond Cl or Cl2. Then O2. Oxygen has electronic configuration, atomic number is 8 means 2, 6. So, outermost cell contain 6 electron. 6 electron means it need another 2 electron. Okay? So, how oxygen molecule form? Let us say this is oxygen. It has 2, 2 and 2, 6 electron. Another oxygen. It has 2, 2 and 2. So, now just observe 2 pairs means 4 electron 6 and 8. This oxygen has 4, 6 and 8. That means oxygen form double bond with oxygen to form O2. So, in this chapter as the chapter proceeding on, if you notice wherever the oxygen may compound with any other it always form double bond. Okay? Double bond in the sense it form two electron pair, then only it will achieve its nearest inner structure. It is okay? This is O2, N2. You know that nitrogen has atomic number 7, 2, 5, 2, 5. 5 means it need another 3 electron, another 3 electron. So, like this, it has 5 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This nitrogen has 5 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just look here, 3 pairs means 6 and 2, 8. 6 and 2, 8. That means both nitrogen achieve their nearest inner structure that is neon. So, here nitrogen form triple bond with another nitrogen that is N2. You just remember oxygen form double bond, nitrogen form triple bond. It is okay. These three are in your book. Let us discuss some more questions like H2O, NH3, let us say CH4, CO2 and S8, we will discuss this. So, students are advised to do these things, let me explain one by one. H2O, you know that oxygen has how many valence electron? 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it is ok, oxygen has 6 valence electron. So, it need another two electron to achieve its nearest, in, nearest inner structure. So, it combine with two hydrogen separately. Hydrogen has one valence electron, let us say it is cross. Let us say I am writing like this, circle cross. Okay? Another 
hydrogen this is cross so now hydrogen ach achieve the helium structure but oxygen achieve 2 2 2 2 neon structure actually in the exam the questions will come like this draw the dot structure of h2o or nh3 or n2 like this so simply draw the dot structure so this is h2o that means h o h that is h2o nh3 you know that nitrogen need 3 electron because it has 2 5 5 valence electron so nitrogen need 3 another electron so nitrogen has 1 2 3 4 5 like this so it need another 3 electron to make 3 pairs so here hydrogen here hydrogen here hydrogen it's okay that means it is n h h h that is ns3 in this diagram you notice that here nitrogen has one lone pair one lone pair that means it never combined with any other this is one lone pair the compound which has one lone pair normally or usually they are basic in nature that means they can combine with any other hydronium ion, hydrogen ion like h plus to form nh4 plus and you know that ammonia is a basic ammonia is basic in nature produce nh4 plus ion so this compound mainly basic in nature but when you consider another compound bh3 b h 3 at that point you will notice that 6 uh, electrons will there another lone pair it need so those are acidic so the compound which lose one um, that means which can share with one lone pair with other element that is basic the compound which receive one lone pair that is acidic but you can puzzle with oxygen oxygen has two lone pair so they neutralize with each other okay but nitrogen it is basic in nature then come to methane carbon dioxide and acid carbon dioxide and acid is in your book okay let me explain methane ch4 you know that carbon has four valence electron so it need another four electron to achieve its nearest inner structure so it separately combined with four hydrogen like this Okay, this is C H H H C H four methane. It's okay. When we enter into the this chapter briefly, that is hydrocarbon part. At that moment, you always remember that the carbon must have valency four. That means four covalent bond. This is the most important part. Carbon always make four covalent bond. Similarly, nitrogen form three covalent bond. Oxygen form two covalent bond. Hydrogen form one covalent bond. It's okay. Now CH4, then after that CO2. One carbon, two oxygen. That means this is the carbon, this is the oxygen, this is the oxygen. You know that carbon has four valence electrons, so it need another four. But oxygen need 6 valence electron means it need another 2. So, here let us say carbon, these are 2 electron, oxygen has, let us say cross. So, oxygen has 6 electron, you know that. So, 2, 2, 4, 2, 6. Carbon has another 2 here. So, carbon has 4 valence electron, it is okay. Oxygen has 2, 2, 2. Here, this oxygen has 2, 2, 2. Now you observe carbon form here two pair here two pair that means eight valence electron but oxygen form two pair four and here four eight here it is also eight that means O C O that is CO2 it's okay 
S8 it is little bit lengthier here I will draw the diagram but you can properly understand when we discuss about the aromatic compound that means cyclo compounds or ring compounds ok here S8 is like this shape S S S S S S S S that means count here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 or in diagrammatically like this 8 that means do a octagon like this octagon sulfur has you know that 6 valence electron so each case these are sulfur sulfur has 6 means it need another 2 so 1 2 1 2 just check it 2 2 4 5 6 and these two electron of this element that means here two lone pairs 2 2 2 2 here 2 2 like this you fill up this and if you observe here sulfur has 2 2 4 5 6 7 8 like this that means s single bond s single bond s like this like this octagon s s s s like this another one I have here like this s take the final diagram not the drawing so like this octagon so this is the sulfur s8 it's okay we'll proceed to forward